makers and welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, a special welcome to you. I'm Joanna and this is Stitching the High Notes where with each vlog I share what I am currently making, whether it be knitting, sewing, crochet, cross stitch, whatever my creative focus is that week. My hope with each vlog is to encourage and inspire you to nourish your own creativity and to stitch joy or the high notes into your everyday life. How are you? I hope that you are well, that you've had a good week. I'm back again with another chit chat and sharing of what I've been doing creatively the last week. I have some knitting, my sock whip to update you on. I have, and some thoughts about my cuff primarily and uh, some observations as I was making it <laughs> earlier this week. I also started a new cross stitch project, uh, one of which I had showed you one of the kits last week, so very exciting. Uh, and a few other things to chit chat with you all about. So if you haven't already, grab your knitting or stitching, a lovely beverage, and let's catch up. So here's something I feel like I haven't said in a very long time. I have a hoe, <laughs> a half object, a half finished object. I finished my first sock of my latest kind of vanilla, you know, standard sock uh, whip that I cast on a couple of weeks ago, the week of, um, St. Patrick's Day, hence the green yarn. And I love it so much. This is where I was at in the last vlog. So I kept my progress keeper on there so you could kind of see where I was at. And I did the shadow wrap heel, which turned out beautifully. I've tried it on, it fits perfectly. I think I might have my mom try this on and see if she wants it. I think she's in need of some new socks because the pairs that I made for her years ago are looking pretty worn out and she needs a new, she needs a replenishment. <laughs> so I'm going to have her try this on. I usually do a 68 stitch uh, sock for her versus the standard kind of medium size 64 stitch, um, which is what I did here. Um, but I think these might fit her okay. The shadow wrap heel, we have very similar feet. She has just slightly bigger feet and they swell, although the older I get, they're behaving the same way. <laughs> Genetics. <laughs> um, but the shadow wrap heel fits both of us really, really well. Um, we have very high arches, so I think that'll be good. And the cuff that I talked about at the intro here, so I did a, let's get it to focus here. Hello, there we go. I did a two by two twisted rib, so twisted knit stitch and then uh, purl. And I love the look of it. I went back and forth about doing it just because I was like, is it gonna be too finicky? It's been so long since I've done it. I'm really, really glad that I did because it's really beautiful. Uh, and then I did Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. Uh, links to everything that I chat about is below and I'll chat about the yarn here in a second. So I did Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. I'll take it off the blocker here so you can see. I did these toe up, give you some stats as I prepare this here. I did these toe up. Uh, I use my own recipe, but I use kind of a hodgepodge of the Shadow Wrap Sock Exploration um, pattern by Earth Tones Girl and also CC's Vanilla Cappuccino Socks. Um, so yeah, so toe up right here. And I use, um, what's it called? Jenny's, not Jenny's, so Judy's Magic Cast On, I think is what it's called. It's like one of those things you do so much and you forget about it. So here is the, sorry, I took like a different focus feature off and I might need to turn it back on here, but that is what the surprisingly stretchy bind off looks like. It's very, very good. Um, it's sturdy. It adds just a little bit more stretch to it, but not too much where it's like flowering out on your, on the cuff, on whatever you do. I do this sometimes on sweaters as well, depending on the um, pattern. And then the thing I did that I'm trying to be better at is that I, did as I think you're supposed to do when you do any kind of bind off technique is to bind off the pearls with pearl stitches and bind off the knit stitches with knit stitches. 
in the early days of me knitting, I would just do knit stitches all around, regardless of if I had done a ribbing or not. And that does create more of a kind of, I, I'm calling it like a bloom, like a little bit of a flower, like too much extra fabric. It doesn't look quite as nice, but because I kept with it this time, it creates a very nice finish. So they turned out really, really well. And I even knit in my ends, you all whoa <laughs> so that is the finished sock and then that's not all there's no uh you know one sock curse here i cast on the second one so this is the toe up i'm using the magic loop method i'm going to turn on that product view <laughs> product focus here in a second but oh i love it so much this little stitch marker is indicating just at the beginning of the round essentially and I'm using 2.25 millimeter needles so the yarn is gorgeous yarn by chromatic yarns Hannah of the corner of craft chromatic yarns this is called jazz is chaos <laughs> it's a sparkle base it's so pretty this is based on critical role which is a dungeons and dragons live stream game that's been on for years and years uh and this uh, particular character is like a fey realm uh fawn type uh species character um and the colorway just was perfect for march and for saint patrick's day so love it love it and the sparkle base, links again are all down below, is 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% lyric. So perfect for socks. Sparkle socks. <laughs> so that is my knitting update. That's what I've been up to this week. I had lots of train knitting on my commute down a couple of days to work and lots of a little bit of TV knitting here and there. And then today, actually, I picked up cross stitch again because I wanted to get up and running for my vacation next week which I'll chat about here um, so this is one of the four spring kits that I highlighted in last week's vlog and since Easter is coming up I wanted to do the bunnies so cute so I've started the pink bunny and here's what I have so far these are done on perforated paper. Everything is included in the kit. I started it off a little bit center because you're gonna cut around it so it doesn't matter where you kind of start it necessarily, but I wanted to make sure I had enough room for everything and I do. And oh, it's just so nice. They, they whip up so quickly. I literally started this only maybe a couple of hours ago and I've been doing things in between. Um, I am going to continue it probably later today, um, but definitely over the weekend and I'll have an update the next time that I have a vlog. I'll share updates also over on Instagram as well, but oh, so cute. I can't wait. So I'm going to take these on the plane with me and to my vacation, which will segue into kind of some other things that have been happening this week that have brought me joy and creativity. Um, uh, I'm going, yeah, I'm going on vacation. I'm so ready. <laughs> I am at that point where you need a vacation and thing, you're just that much more weird. Like you're weird. <laughs> you feel weird. Like you're just on the brink of burnout, dare I say a little bit. And I'm very much looking forward to it. I leave, um, next week and I'm going with my family. We're going to Arizona, um, which oh, I haven't been to Arizona in years. I don't think I've been there since I was maybe 15, which is a very long time ago. <laughs> um, and I just am really looking forward to it. We're going to go see my godparents. Uh, my nephew is coming. My mom is coming as well. Um, and I love to travel. It's something I just want to do so much more of that I have so much more appreciation for after the last several years that we all have had. And I just am so ready for a change of scenery and pace. 
I'm hoping the weather will be a little bit warmer. It's been pretty comparable to how it has been here, but there have been days where it's like 80 degrees. So I'm like, I'm ready to bring all of the layers and all of the, like I'm bringing my sandals and my tennis shoes. <laughs> and I'm just gonna sit and stitch and play video games with my nephew and read and knit and just chill out and not think about work and just, B, recharge the batteries and be with family. And we're gonna go to um, Old Tucson. I don't know if you've heard about it, so I'll have lots to share, I'm sure, <laughs> when I come back to the next vlog. But yeah, so stay tuned. I think I'm gonna get the backing. I would love to get the backing for these before I leave, just so I have them. So hopefully I come back and they're all done and I just need to do the finishing. Because the finishing is just like weaving in ends is always sometimes the hardest part, isn't it? <laughs> to do. It's like you think you finished the thing, but you, no, you've got to go to the next level. So I really want to get the backing paper for that. I really want to get some sparkling, uh, sparkly backing paper for these. So cute. I'll have more thoughts about this after vacation, but I'm already thinking about the next few things that I want to make. I definitely want to cast on the satellite shawl, which I picked up the kit at uh, Stitches West earlier in March. Um, I think that would just be a beautiful spring heading into summer project to do. I also have a couple of whips. I kind of want to watch my very own whip parade that I did earlier in the year. <laughs> to kind of see or just look at the bins of the whips that I have because there are a few that just need some fixing. So there might be a week uh, in April here where I'm very focused on d finishing the whips that need fixed, that there's like a tank top that needs to be redone, the racer back needs to be done. Um, there are a couple other things that just need to be fixed and then they're done. It's kind of the same thing I was sharing here. It's not just like the finishing and the weaving and the ends and stuff that sometimes can be a roadblock for me and I know for many of you as well. It just is part of the process sometimes. Uh, just a little bit of a hurdle, an extra like push you gotta give yourself to get to the finish line. Um, but there are also some things that I need to just like clear off fully off the needles. I did a little bit of that after the whip parade, but I need to do a little bit more. So yeah, I'm starting to dream of like the next things that I want to cast on. I have a couple of sweater quantities of yarn too, which are just waiting in the wings, um, which I'm really excited to do. A linen sweater, the Maya sweater that I uh, have been excited about it that I got the yarn for I think it arrived in December or something like that so yeah things things are opening up where I feel excited to kind of cast new things on again the other creative thing that I have been doing this week and a little bit more so last week is sewing so I've been sewing a lot for the shop again and uh, this past week I introduced a new kind of business model a new way of uh, sharing new bag collections with you all which is a pre-order model which will allow me to just have more time to make these bags for you all for everybody to have a chance to get one if a collection catches your eye and have a better workflow and keep you know my creativity open for doing all of these things throughout the usual week of cross stitch and socks and knitting a little bit on a shawl here and there because on the weekends that is primarily the time that is the time now that I have to sew for the shop and kind of do larger projects um, so I am really excited. A lot of you all, thank you all so much for those of you who uh, came out for this latest update for the spring collections. Uh, the links to everything are down below. If you're watching this on Sunday, um, uh, the pre-orders are open until the very end of the day today. Uh, and then the next one will be at the end of the month and I'll have more details in the coming weeks for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to kind of get into this new rhythm. I know it was, you know, it's new and it's different. So hopefully you guys will join me on the ride. And I'm so grateful that so many of you are. So thank you for, I'm awkwardly saying thank you and how much I appreciate you all. Before I forget, because I know some of y'all might have even already commented, this is my, I will link my t-shirt down below if you're interested. I got this from Inkwell Threads. I have a couple of their t-shirts, but I felt uh, this was very appropriate as of late. 
so I felt like wearing it today. It is Saturday um, as I'm sitting down to chat with you and so I'm nice and comfy and cozy. But with that, I am going to end this quick chat with you all today. I hope that you are well. Please let me know. Let us all know what you are making down below. If you have any new cast-ons or things that you're planning to cast on for spring or for autumn, if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, we would all love to know and get inspired by you. I hope again that you are well. I will see you all again very soon. No vlog next week, but definitely the week after with a nice, hopeful B-roll update on my vacation. If you haven't already and would like to be notified when new vlogs are up, uh, please do consider subscribing. And if you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a Patreon. No worries if not, but if you do, it's a great way to support these vlogs and also be a part of a very close-knit, pun intended, community over there where we have daily vlogs, Zoom stitch and chats, live stream chats, behind the scenes posts, a tea time podcast, and more. All right, I will see you all again very soon. Happy making. Bye.